everyone, so this is another episode of Taste 20, and this one we're going to do an episode on how to cross the border into Mexico from San Diego. So you either take the 805 or the I-5 south. So smash the like button, subscribe for more episodes like this, but yeah, get ready for instructions on how to get across the border. Yeah. So the key here when going to uh, Mexico is to take the I-5 or the 805. They eventually all merge to just the 5, especially going down here. As you can see, uh, the closer you get to uh, the bottom half of California, you'll see uh, Chula Vista and uh, all the exit starts. Reducing. Look, that's 7A. So you can tell there's about six more exits before you reach all the way to the bottom. So uh, this is how it looks. Here's a tip never come here near the uh, near pretty much 4 p.m. to like 8 p.m. ish. I would always recommend using uh, Google traffic to see if, uh, how it looks, but uh, definitely don't try to come here really during those times, especially on Fridays and possibly on Saturdays. Fridays are really bad, especially if you're trying to get to Mexico. I would say don't even try to uh, get here or through the traffic. All this would be like bumper to bumper right here. I'm guaranteeing you uh, I've done this a couple times and uh, it's bumper to bumper back here like you wouldn't be able to go this speed all the way down to Mexico and uh, as you can see it's at 5B Main Street we're getting closer it's only a couple more exits left once you get down to uh, certain uh, number of streets you're gonna get to look to almost there so uh we'll get back to you when we're getting really really close so this is the way so definitely don't come here like i said on friday nights maybe uh you want to come here definitely come here really really late or check google traffic all right so this here is about three miles from the border this is how it looks As you can see, traffic on the other side is very minimum. It's always going to be that way. It's very hard to come through towards America, so you'll rarely see traffic coming from the other side on the I-5 in this area. But this is how it looks like when you come here during the middle of lunch on a weekday. Two miles to the international border between Mexico and America. You can pretty much pull over anywhere around here for information on how to cross. There's a lot of uh, gas stations and there's also an outlet mall. An outlet mall right here. They call it Camino de la Plaza. I think that's what it's called. Or it's in San Isidro. It's right here where all the uh, Outlet malls are. You can get some really cool and cheap stuff here if you want, or if you go across the border, get some even cheaper stuff. But this is just the last exit right here before you have to cross. So uh, if you don't want to cross the border, this is your last chance right here. Go in the Camino de la Plaza. That's where all the outlet malls are. Let's go here. After this exit right here. Camino de la Plaza, you're forced, last exit in the USA. Now we're just going straight to Mexico right here. Straight to Mexico. You have no choice. Make sure you have a passport. Make sure you have your ID. Make sure you're ready to go across because there's no going back right now. So uh, make sure to watch for incoming traffic because there's another entrance, so there's another guy once you come in from the other way, there's a lot of parking areas, 24-hour parking. 
to pay like $15 for all night, somewhere around there. It's kind of expensive in my opinion. But yeah, this is how it looks. This is what it looks like when you're coming across. Check the speed bumps. You're slowly coming across the border. So, uh, I'll just pick a lane, check on the other one, but whatever. But, uh, there's all these cameras watching you, so they take a picture of you. So make sure you, uh, don't have anything weird looking as your passenger or any criminals. Yeah, this is their board side of the board show, the Mexican one. So, uh, they... Yeah, I guess they rarely ever ask people to stop. There's nobody in the gates right now. But definitely cross through here. Don't go, don't ever back your car up. Cause you're gonna pop your tires. Yeah, let's take a lane. And just cross on through. So, espera means stop. This is a good time to just stop and just wait for them to tell you to enter. <laughs> yes, whenever they tell you to go across, you go across. Enter. Ooh. And then they're gonna take a picture. Yes, yep, that's a picture. Got a picture of you. And then if it's green, you go across just that simple. This is where all the cars merge in. So, uh, it's just kind of frustrating because there's so many cars here. So, yeah. I recommend going to a lane that's faster. So, like, right here. So much easier. And that's when they, uh, if they ask you to stop, you go check on your car. You go pull over right there. And, uh, that's their border patrol guy. They all have guns, so uh, do whatever they say. You're in Mexico now. This is how it looks. Mexico looks really, really just the same as any other city. And then, uh, we're in Mexico, guys. Just drive. Make sure you follow the rules. Or else you gotta pay fines. So, uh, definitely keep going. Across the four, Zona de Norte, Zona de Rio, Zona de Fuerte. Oh, they closed down this area. I was gonna make a right side here, but I guess I can't do that right now, can I? So I'll just go this way. every other city they have traffic they have kilometers here by the way 50 kilometers you gotta divide that in half that's like 25 miles per hour make sure you follow the rules guys well people are gonna, people are gonna get in trouble oh yeah people like to honk you know what I'm saying I don't know what his problem was I'm trying to go this way Follow the road. Uh. Ooh, there's somebody getting pulled over right there. Make sure you don't break the law, or else you get pulled over too. Oh yeah. Hold on. Just keep following. Okay. So now I'm gonna go to my hotel now. So I'm gonna take the directions on my GPS. So I'm taking the Paso de la Paso de la Heros. Gonna make a right right here. Cool.
Just like every other city, you gotta make sure the traffic gets clear before you make a turn to the right. There's too many cars, you don't wanna get hit. Cause you're in Mexico, you ever? Yeah, El Centro. So we're gonna go this way on El Centro. So it looks like I'm gonna go left here. Definitely don't wanna go back to San Diego. Cause uh, that border is gonna be really long and it's gonna take forever. So uh, make sure uh, follow your GPS. The roads are here are kind of chaotic. I'm not gonna joke with you. Like uh, I gotta merge through five lanes once I make that exit right there. And then, okay. I guess I gotta go here. Then I gotta make a right immediately at Avenue de la But this is how Mexico looks. It's like any other city. People walking on the streets. I recommend locking your doors. I'm gonna lock my doors just in case anything should happen. At least you're safe in your car. Uh, just like everywhere else, they have people, they have hobbies. But this is uh, Mexico. I think that's a bus right there. Yeah. Uh, people get on. It's a taxi. Ooh, you just jump on. It's like a thing. It's like. 20 or so pesos, which is equivalent to a dollar. You just pay a dollar, you can go wherever you need to. They have a bunch of them. I think that's the uh, public transportation for them. But this is uh, how Mexico looks. I like how they have taco stands like everywhere practically. Food stands. People just walk on the streets, by the way, so you gotta be careful not to run them over. I know it's kind of hectic, like like this. It's random, huh? But this is how uh, Mexico is. And you gotta be careful. We're in uh, another country now, and you can tell. Uh, Mexico, the cars still follow the rules. You gotta stop at red lights. You gotta go on green lights. You gotta speak Spanish here. You gotta understand. But then, uh, surprisingly, a lot of people speak English. So, if you need something, you can always speak English. And uh, hopefully, somebody within a uh, year's throw away can uh, translate for you. There's a lot of uh, people here. Avenue de la Revolution. That's the uh, main street where all the uh, people like to hang out. Calle de la Cocha. So this is where a lot of people look like, oh, people could wash a car. Ooh, maybe I could get my car washed and clean. And I uh, definitely need my car to be waxed as well. But uh, flashing red lights, they're following rules too. You're stopping and going. Stopping and going. I can go like, up there and stop and go. I just cut in front of that guy. Yeah. Solid drive. Mmm, there's like taco stands everywhere.